Hi, I'm Adriana Baranek and this is the Uzbek channel. Uh, I'm joined again by our CTO, Mladen Baranek, and we will be talking about um, Google Sheets and Excel again. It will again, uh, it will now be a deeper dive into uh, how Google Sheets and Excel differ and uh, um, the, the main thesis that we are uh, covering in this series about Excel and Google Sheets is that in many companies they have ERP, they have very expensive systems, but then in the end they use Excel for lots of their work processes. And um, I would like Martin to tell us more about it and how Google Sheets can extend and uh, make this, these work processes even better. Uh, thank you. Uh, so Excel started uh, uh, in the uh, 90s and uh, at that time it was becoming most popular uh, table calculator. Uh, people started uh, using Excel not only for calculations but for uh, some uh, process automation and they developed uh, macros so um, uh, instead of uh, repeatedly clicking and doing some uh, set of actions they, they were able to record uh, a number of actions and then uh, execute them uh, automatically so uh, Excel became even more popular and then in 1995, Microsoft introduced uh, Visual Basic for applications. So uh, that programming language was simple enough for uh, power users, for, for uh, people who were using uh, Office and Excel to extend functionality even further and to automate number of tasks not only by recording some steps they were doing, but also by uh, connecting to different data sources and uh, manipulating data within different uh, tables. So, uh, of course, uh, that was before uh, networking and the internet became relevant. And uh, today th uh, there is uh, uh, completely different landscape so today a lot of people are using uh, applications delivered uh, through browsers over the internet intranet and they are using mobile devices so um, Microsoft in office 2013 for the first time introduced uh, JavaScript that's kind of a universal language of internet applications and uh, Office 365 uh, which is a new version of, uh, of Microsoft Office is uh, uh, relying on JavaScript uh, for uh, automation purposes and it does not support uh, Visual Basic for applications while only old uh, Excel on prem still supports uh, macros and uh, still supports Visual Basic for applications. At the same time, uh, Google developed uh, Google Apps and uh, later renamed it to uh, G Suite. So, uh, since uh, G Suite was was born in uh, on internet platform, uh, from start it was using. Uh, one flavor of JavaScript, Google Apps Script, and uh, today we have this a kind of um, a problem. So uh, older companies uh, have a lot of Excel sheets with automation written in uh, Visual Basic, and some even with macros, uh, and they have to rethink how they will extend uh, uh, that automation to uh, Office 365 to, to, to support uh, internet applications or uh, use G Suite that is actually more capable in this uh, JavaScript area. Mm -hmm. 
So that, uh, that is current status, w what is going on with this. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, data table calculators automation. Mm -hmm. Yes, and UseWiz is basically all about the automation. That, that is what we want to do and that is what we are doing. We want to give companies the choice to solve their work processes in very easy ways, uh, just using office productivity tools. And we have already developed uh, two solutions on top of G Suite, one for planning and one is for workflow process uh, and form approval uh, automation and um, when we are talking about the uh, features and uh, the ease of use of uh, Google Sheets and Excel uh, there is all, uh, very often a misconception that Google Sheets are somehow inferior. Can you tell us more about the possibilities of Google Sheets? What, what can you do with Google Sheets and how does this compare to Excel and to this uh, uh, all, all, all possibilities of workflow uh, and other mm -hmm. types of automation in Excel. So, uh, core functionality for, for calculation and for uh, manipulating data, it's uh, the same. So, you can do in uh, Google Sheets uh, almost all things that you can do with uh, Excel and vice versa uh, regarding data manipulation. But for collaboration, for uh, processes, for ease of uh, uh, collaborating with your workers, uh, G Suite comes with much stronger object model and it, it works better with user identification. So it is easier to write automation taking into account number of organizational units, departments, uh, people involved in the process and uh, uh, connecting, connecting to various data sources in, in the cloud. So in that area, uh, G Suite is more internet ready. Mm -hmm. So it comes with uh, batteries included kind of. Mm -hmm. Uh, just to make it clear, so people usually ask, mm, uh, can you use vertical lookup in Google Sheets, can you use pivot table, you can use all of that and you can use so much more um, and uh, if you are an advanced Excel user, Google Sheets will never leave you high and dry and uh, you can really use Google Sheets to do all the, this. Yes, uh, so uh, basics are covered. Yes, so. definitely, and m much more than that. And uh, when, when um, uh, in my previous life, I used to work for a big financial institution, which was which was using Tagetic in order to collect data from various uh, companies within the group. And Tagetic is a solution built as an add-on to Excel. And uh, it was a huge project. It, re it required uh, lots of effort, lo lots of investment. And in Google Sheets, it's as easy as just create a table and just share it to whomever you want to share it. Is that right? Yes, but uh, th there are other benefits uh, as well. So while uh, this um, uh, Visual Basic for Application uh, relies on older COM model from, from Windows, basically it works only on Windows platforms and it is extended to Mac. Uh, Mac OS to some extent, but in no way it can be used uh, 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 in Office 365 or on Android iOS. Or, so uh, you, you are limited to using basically uh, Windows platforms w with uh, uh, solutions like Tagetic written mm -hmm. with. Uh, a visual basic for application while new modern uh, add-ins even for office so e even for uh, legacy office uh, 2013 or uh, 2016 it is uh, uh, recommended to write new uh, add-in uh, or uh, and extensions in javascript mm -hmm. so uh, th that gives you ability to uh, execute in all environments and Miadria can help you migrate your uh, Visual Basic uh, applications to this new new environment or develop 
uh, new applications based on uh, both uh, Office 365 or, or G Suite by using mm -hmm. uh, JavaScript. Yeah. Great. Um, um, what we are seeing is uh, that um, users are quite reluctant to leave Excel because Excel still has lots of appeal and as um, I said in the beginning, lots of companies are basically using Excel to bridge this gap between the ERP and the real world. And uh, um, what would be the way in which uh, you could start using Google Sheets uh, that would be easiest for companies? Well, just deploy G Suite and start using uh, Sheets. Mm -hmm. So the barrier is very low. Uh, people using Excel will be able to switch uh, without big effort. Mm -hmm. So the, all of their uh, uh, basic sheets functionalities will be immediately supported. Uh, of course, if you have Visual Basic uh, or even Macros, uh, then uh, you'll either have to use this on-prem version of Excel uh, or you'll have to re rewrite it to, to be uh, ready for this internet environment. And if you are rewriting it, then it's uh, a similar effort or it's, it's even easier to rewrite them uh, to use G Suite and uh, Sheets than to, to rewrite them for Office 365. But of course, it is possible to rewrite them for Office 365 as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, you also mentioned in the beginning that Excel was in the, in the beginning using macros. In fact, now in Google Sheets you can also record your own macros. Uh, yes, but if, if you record uh, macros, you get uh, uh, Google Apps Script as JavaScript mm -hmm. application, basically. So in the background. In, yeah. in the background, and uh, it uh, enables you to record the steps you, mm -hmm. you are uh, performing for calculation and then repeat it mm -hmm. in the future as many times as you would like. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And um, with regard to the connectivity of uh, Microsoft Excel to um, uh, um, uh, of, uh, Google Sheets and Google Docs and uh, Google Slides, um, there is now also an ability to insert your table from Google Sheets to the Google Docs, which is also amazing. And it was one of the biggest uh, advantages of yes. Microsoft Office as a package. So while Microsoft was acquiring uh, components of uh, Office Suite, mm -hmm. uh, real value came when, when they introduced this COM model, uh, enabling people to embed uh, uh, sheets in uh, documents that would dynamically yeah. refresh. And good news is in G Suite you can uh, embed uh, sheets in docs and they will automatically refresh. <laughs> But you have many other advantages, like uh, you, you, you can see history for every cell in uh, in sheet. You can see uh, who changed it and when. So the, the, there are many new uh, capabilities that came with the internet era. Mm -hmm. And by, by using G Suite, you'll benefit from uh, 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 connectivity and from collaboration while maintaining all the benefits you would get from uh, personal use of such mm -hmm. tools. Yeah, and the, one of the best things about the software as a service is that um, uh, you will always have the latest version. So that, that is one huge advantage. And, um, you know, when we talk to our prospective customers, they, they can sometimes ask us, how many servers do I need to deploy to use this technology? And there is no servers. Basically, you, you have like a zero effort to deploy Google Sheets. As Martin said, you just buy Google G Suite and you start using Google Sheets. It's as easy as that. And you will always have the latest version. So you will never have to worry about some upgrades. You will never have to worry about buying special licenses that allow you upgrades. You will always have the latest version. 
and uh, uh, your users will always be able to e enjoy the latest benefits. And the version that we are talking about now is uh, as of now, the July 2019. But the best thing is that uh, every day uh, Google is working on the new versions and uh, there will be more features coming very soon. So it is, um, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, so Google clearly communicates development uh, of uh, G Suite. You you uh, can see uh, uh, rollout uh, dates, planned dates when some features will be uh, introduced. The, there are different levels how uh, fast you would like to introduce features on your uh, on your domain for, for your uh, users. And uh, good news is there are no uh, installations on uh, client devices. So uh, the software as a service model uh, their applications are uh, delivered through uh, browser uh, enables you to uh, seamlessly deploy new versions or even uh, uh, retract to uh, all the versions in some cases without installing anything at the mm -hmm. uh, client machines with, uh, with yeah. your users. And um, just to sort of wrap it up, why we are always talking about Excel and Primus and Google Sheets on the other hand, because uh, even though Microsoft has the Office 365 version of Excel, that one is really inferior to what Google Sheets has to offer. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, so, uh, with uh, Office 365, uh, Microsoft packages uh, on-prem Excel, which is a version that has to be installed on a client machine and relies on um, either Windows or uh, Mac uh, OS. And you, you can also get uh, uh, versions that are delivered through uh, web browsers. So versions that are delivered through web browsers, online versions, uh, have limited capacity. And uh, at the moment, they, uh, they are more limited uh, uh, than many of uh, uh, actual Excel tables uh, require for uh, for everyday work, so people are usually forced to you know, switch back to to Excel on prem. While with uh, G Suite, with, with uh, uh, Google Sheets, you can do uh, all of your uh, Excel tables you, you have on prem uh, in uh, a web browser today. So fr from that perspective, uh, uh, spreadsheets, uh, G, uh, G Suite spreadsheets are more capable mm -hmm. than Office 365 uh, implementation at the moment. Yeah. And as you said, when you are uploading the uh, a Microsoft Excel from on prime version to Google Sheets, uh, the conversion is uh, uh, amazing. So th th there yeah. are two modes. Uh, uh, so G Suite can work with the original Excel format, so you don't have to convert. If you do not convert, then you will not have some uh, additional capabilities that uh, G Suite brings. If you convert, then you uh, basically seamlessly get uh, all the data formatting uh, formulas and that kind of stuff into G, uh, G Suite and uh, you'll be able to use additional uh, internet connectivity and you, you, you will be able to use Google Apps Script and mm -hmm. uh, other nice features. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Uh, well, um, uh, we are a, a little bit too long with those uh, talks about Google Sheets and Excel, but I really hope that you enjoyed it. Do you have anything else that you would like to add today? Yeah, if you rely on a lot of Visual Basic for application, um, add-ins or st stuff like that, uh, feel free to contact us at uh, uh, miadria at miadria. 
www.mycrypto.com and we'll find a way how to help you uh, migrate to this new internet uh, um, uh, era. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, because things can be easy and things do not have to be complicated and this is why we are building you as Thank you so much for watching today. Please like Thank us. You. Thank you, Madden, for your time. Uh, please like us, please subscribe to our video and uh, we will see you very soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.